Hi there, this is Ross at Wood Fire Power again, and in this next series of videos, we are going to build a new, better, larger aquaponics system. The system is going to be the first prototype for a system that anyone could build at home with a small backyard and use it either just for your personal uh, vegetables or you could use it for um, if you build a larger system or in, in other words multiple of the tables that I'm going to be showing you how to build if you uh, build a number of them you could with one person's full-time labor earn up to almost a hundred thousand a year at least eighty thousand um, that's kind of the optimal ideal and learning how to do it of course you aren't going to be able to create that much of a yield but that's the potential and with not too much learning you could get there um, I think the long story short of that one is getting over 20,000 a year so that you have some sort of an income should be very easy now this is the great little aquaponics system and I've shown you this in the other videos and we're going to actually do some experiments with it so I harvested a huge amount of basil and a few cucumbers the other day we're going to tear a bunch of this all out and then replant it with some new starts just to do some tests of uh, what will grow in preparation for the larger tables the new table system is going to be a grow bed that is four feet by sixteen feet by one foot deep and that equates to about two and a quarter cubic yards of gravel in the grow bed and that means that we will have a fish uh, pool that will be two and a quarter cubic yards so two cubic yards if you don't already know is uh, three feet wide three feet deep six feet long so not very big and you can change the shape if you want to make it round or any shape you want um, just so the volume is the same and what we're going to do is we're going to recreate in larger scale the same systems in the little aquaponics you see here um, but much larger and the much larger is in preparation for even larger than that which would be personal commercial scale something that you could build yourself and earn a living at home growing produce to take to farmers markets and or local grocery stores especially through the Midwest where organic food just really hasn't caught on if you're out here in California when we go to our local stores all of the major supermarkets have large organic food sections in their normal produce sections um, but there are many organic food stores and the organic food stores you drive into the parking lot and it's just packed all day long the point being people prefer to eat food that they know does not have pesticides and other things if you've ever seen a blue carnation then uh, think about how you made the blue carnation you put blue dye in the water and the carnation sucks it up and it winds up in the carnation plant material the same thing happens with food the plants are planted in the ground and they suck up everything that's in the ground and that becomes part of the plants so a lot of people I used to think this way and my friend used to think this way until I gave him the blue carnation example and then all of a sudden he understood a lot of people think that well you know they spray pesticides but they go on the outside of the plant they do that bef you know while it's flowering so the insects don't get into the fruit and eat the fruit and it's no big deal because by the time the tomatoes grow or whatever it is that I'm actually going to eat they're not spraying the pesticides at that point in time but what happens to the pesticides? The rains will wash them off down into the ground or at the end of the year they're going to finish picking all of the vegetables being produced and then till 
the plant matter into the ground and no matter what you do 100 percent of any poisons sprayed onto the plants go into the ground and the next year the plants are going to be drinking those poisons whatever they happen to be that's why organic is so important and the goal of a kickstarter project that i'll be starting soon is to basically you know it's a grandiose goal okay and maybe we won't even hold a spark to reaching it but it's a vision and the vision is to to almost overnight revolutionize America's methods for growing produce that we eat from the stores and to do that we need to flood the market with organic food because given the choice if I hold two platters of tomatoes in front of you one platter has conventionally grown that you know has some unknown amount of pesticides and whatnot in it that you'd kind of rather not eat but you trust that it's not so bad it's you know it's not, clearly not going to kill you or the big chain stores wouldn't be carrying it they'd be killing off their customers um, the conventionally grown doesn't taste as good so then on the second platter I have organic tomatoes let's say and if I give you the choice of eating fresh juicy ripe sweet organic tomatoes or kind of cardboard not fully vine ripened uh, tomatoes that probably have some level of pesticides that the government tells me are safe um, but it's not zero you're gonna pick well I, sh I won't say you are going to pick I would pick and most people pick the organic now if you had the choice and the cost was the same everyone would buy organic and the way to get the cost the same in a supply and demand market that we have is to flood the market with the one that you prefer and then the price of that product will come down because there are so many organic farmers that's the goal of the Kickstarter project is to flood the market with organic foods so that other foods that are not organic are just driven out of existence within the United States that's a huge goal but it's a vision and we can just work toward the vision and not really worry at all about how far we get we're just going to do what we can and the way to do that is to plant seeds you have to start planting seeds and in that Kickstarter project I will describe in more detail what you can do to plant the seeds of organic food in your own backyard literally or your own backyard meaning your town by enabling people around you to grow organic food putting systems in schools in uh, work rehabilitation centers train out of work jobless people how to grow food this way and incentivize them with a couple thousand dollars to start growing food and earning their own living pretty much anyone should be able to earn over twenty thousand dollars this way and the upfront capital investment is really tiny and the labor input is tiny as I said before the labor input is so low that um, someone easily could generate something on order of a hundred thousand dollars per year revenue now the reason that's the case is because in conventional farming you have to put uh, you have to till the soil come out and water once or twice a day pull weeds all these things get eliminated in the aquaponics system so let me let me stop the 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 discussion about all of the pros and cons although there really aren't any cons but um, I mean it's not free you have to do some work um, but here is a backyard and it's completely overgrown in burrs and grass and um, it's basically a mess that's just sitting here this is the sort of space I'm talking about and this backyard is rather large and um, 
up in the corner up there, if you can see, and if you looked at my self-watering planters videos, um, that's the deer fencing around the garden so that the vegetables can be grown in there. So that's a little organic garden. And what we're going to do out here is transform some of this space into a new larger organic aquaponics system. So I'll be showing you in this series of videos how to do that and um, following it along and then I'll be running a Kickstarter project to replicate it in an even bigger way. So stay tuned and this is the first installment and we're going to head out and go purchase some lumber today and some cinder blocks, things that everyone has at the local lumber store to uh, build the system. So I'll be back soon. Have a great day. This is Ross at Wood Fire Power.